Usually, when I do these types of videos, I'm going to break down the ins and outs of professional wrestling and why someone wasn't utilized better in the company they were working for. Maybe it was WWE misutilizing a talent, or maybe it goes much deeper. With Leo Rush, it's much bigger than a company not taking his potential and pushing him to the moon. At AEW Double or Nothing, Leo Rush debuted for the company in the AEW Casino Battle Royale. He was the top secret surprise, the Joker card. He came in, looked great, and it seemed he had a promising future. It was then announced via social media that Leo Rush had become All Elite. When AEW does this kind of announcement via Twitter, it means that they had signed to the company. Big things seem to be on the horizon for Leo. However, it was just announced that Leo Rush has not only left AEW, but he has retired from pro wrestling altogether. He had this to say on Instagram. I had written and erased this post so many times purely out of not being able to wrap my head around this. The moment I went home in a sling, I kept saying to myself, this was like any other time. I got a little bruise or a strain, I will shrug it off and continue my new journey. Once the pain subsided, I started to just feel how uncomfortable it was to feel my arm hanging from my body. I sunk into another immediate and rapidly growing depression because I knew something was wrong. Got the news that I'd been taking some time off due to this injury. Me thinking it would only affect my wrestling obligations, I still tried to go about my days as I knew them. I realized just how much this would affect my everyday life. For anyone who knows me, you know that I work endlessly for me and my family. It became more and more frustrating every day finding little things that I could no longer do, like simply putting on a shirt and a much harder fact to deal with not being able to pick up my newborn son. Now here comes the part that kept me every night since Double or Nothing. Knowing that I made my surprise debut in one of the most exciting times in my career, that part sucks. But I'm grateful. Grateful for the opportunities that I just this past year, even after my WB release. So cool of AEW still wanting to sign me despite separating my AC in the Casino Battle Royale which would have led to me being the first person in history to be signed to two major wrestling organizations simultaneously. This is an unexpected turn down a road I would and could have never saw coming. But I'm looking at this as a blessing in disguise. Since the injury, it's given me some time to think. Think about what I want in life, what I want from my wife and for my kids, and what's going to make me happy as far as my mental health is concerned. The timing of this injury has forced me to stop and reevaluate, and ultimately has resulted in making the decision to retire from pro wrestling. Thank you for the fans who have fought it out with me for the past seven years and the people in my corner. Thank you for all the promoters and the friends that I met along the way who believe in me and my vision. This has been a great ride, and it's a time to get off and do what truly makes me happy. Due to the contractual obligations with New Japan Pro Wrestling, I'll be making my final appearances once I am healed. But for now, thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you soon. Leo Rush will not be returning to AEW, but he will finish up his contractual obligations with New Japan Pro Wrestling, and he'll be done with the sport of professional wrestling. He will officially close the chapter on that book. This is not the first time that controversy has surrounded Leo Rush. Back when he joined WWE NXT in that brand, he was getting a ton of heat because of how he behaved backstage. Reports came out that he had his wife backstage watching the NXT tapings and that rubbed some people the wrong way. Rumors also stated that he was trying to get him and his wife a reality TV show contract. Rumors also came out with allegations that Mark Henry was trying to get Leo Rush advice on how he should behave in the WWE and Leo Rush blew him off. Leo Rush said that he barely knew Mark Henry and Mark only asked him if he's okay and Leo Rush said yeah I'm fine. This spiraled into a whole thing that apparently just only got squashed at AEW when Leo Rush showed up. He had this to say. For those of you wondering, yes, me and Mark Henry had a long in-depth conversation last night looking forward to the future. Leo Rush was also released from the WWE during the pandemic in 2020 
and did many different things, including making music and being on the hit MTV show, The Challenge. Leo Rush was a solid competitor on the MTV show, The Challenge, but ultimately his mental state got the best of him and he decided on his own that he would leave the show. Usually when someone does this, the show runners don't like it. However, it was different this time. Leo came out after the fact and stated that it wasn't the right time for him. He was mentally checked out and felt terrible being away from his pregnant wife and his two kids during the pandemic. So he left the show, he went home to be a family man. He also stated that being on the challenge brought back terrible memories of him growing up being in a group home. Eventually he would get back into pro wrestling working for GCW and New Japan Pro Wrestling before going to AEW and then ultimately retiring. The life of a professional wrestler is a job that isn't cut out for everyone. No matter how good you are inside that ring, you can't survive if you aren't mentally prepared. Being away from your family is extremely hard and many sacrifices have to be made. Leo Rush is a true family man who doesn't want to sacrifice the well-being of his family to reach stardom in professional wrestling. He went to WWE, he tried his hand at reality TV, but everything kept taking him back to the love of his life, his wife and kids. Pro wrestling and notoriety was mentally draining for Leo Rush. You could tell that even in NXT, he wanted to have his wife around when he was wrestling. He even got heat for doing so. Leo Rush has been outspoken, caused much drama in and out of the ring, and may have just ended his professional wrestling career. But in the end, Leo Rush did what was best for him and for his family. Mentally, he is not okay with pro wrestling in his life, and taking a step back in his career to be closer to the people he loves is commendable. I'm just glad he didn't stay in pro wrestling, drive himself crazy, and regret the decisions he made later on in his older years. I wish Leo Rush all the best in whatever he decides to do.